making its final descent towards <laughs> water landing. And it's a little foggy, as you can see there. Yeah, Pacific fog um, is rolling in. <laughs> we've got some very bright lights uh, as Dragon, uh, you can see the ocean there. Dragon is about to touch down in just a few seconds here. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Um, at this point, we'll be waiting for, uh, for confirmation of, of the crew's um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of, the, of this mission, which are really, let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point, we'll be covering. And we have splashdown of the AX4 crew back on planet Earth. Welcome home. Again, flash down. Uh, we are in stable one. SpaceX copies flash down and stable one. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. And thanks for the great ride and the safe trip. And Grace is happy to be back. <laughs> we are happy to have you back home safely as well. Some words between the Corps and our commander, Peggy Whitson, as the AX-4 crew has made it back home, splashed down at Dragon SpaceX. For your awareness, SISTI system verifications are in progress. I will report back when recovery personnel are en route. Dragon. Yeah, so now you can see a couple fast boats are mm -hmm. going to be approaching the Dragon spacecraft. They're going to start with making sure that the spacecraft is safe. They're going to do some sniff checks. Uh, they're going to pick up those main parachutes. Uh, as Dragon splashed down, um, the chutes were immediately cut to make sure um, there's no safety issues there. So we'll pick up those main parachutes up. Once the crew deems that the spacecraft is safe, then our recovery vessel, Shannon, can begin to uh, approach and begin the recovery process. So we are now eagerly waiting on recovery of our Dragon spacecraft with the AX-4 crew. Dragon has already autonomously completed several steps to save itself following splashdown. So for those of you just joining us, the return of AX-4 has gone smoothly so far, and we just got great confirmation that crew has splashed down. So Dragon successfully re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, followed by deployment of its parachutes to slow the spacecraft down to a gent gentle 15 miles per hour. And at that point, they successfully splashed down in the Pacific Ocean at 2.31 a.m. Pacific time, off the coast of Southern California. So at this point, like you mentioned, Jesse, we are just waiting for Dragon's recovery of that, of, uh, from Shannon. Yeah, upon detection of landing, Dragon automatically releases the main parachutes to prevent wind from pulling the spacecraft. Dragon then automatically saves any pyrotechnics still present on the vehicle and may automatically perform additional minor system reconfigurations. The astronauts remain seated and in their suits at this point, but the onboard air conditioning keeps temperatures in check inside the spacecraft and the communication sy systems on board remain powered so the crew can continue to communicate. And as we're watching, SpaceX has two fast boats in the recovery fleet, which move very quickly to get to the splashdown point. And those are being followed by Shannon, the main recovery vessel, which will move into position upwind of the spacecraft. The two fast boats have very specific roles here in these operations. The first fast boat makes initial contact and is focused on immediate safety inspection of the vehicle, checking for vehicle integrity and any presence of hypergolic propellant vapors. This ensures that it's safe for Shannon to approach the Dragon spacecraft. Now, once Dragon is cleared for full approach, the team begins rigging the spacecraft for water recovery by the recovery ship. The second fast boat is responsible for parachute recovery and also serves a redundant boat to the first. So we'll see a team member, uh, we'll also see a team member rather, on a, on a jet ski help. Today, indeed, Bharat has found an enduring space in the world of space. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, 
as you all know the chronology of it that would follow hello all of them would be in the quarantine for over next one week maybe up to 23rd and from 24th onwards they would be having discussions with the experts from the isro then for the next 3 4 days that we continued after which they would be spending time having separate discussions with the representatives of axiom representatives of spacex and representatives of nasa separately that's called debriefing and after that is accomplished which would go on for about uh, maybe nearly 2 weeks till about 12th or 13th of april then they'll start preparation for returning home in case of shubhashu to return back to india so that could be around 14th or 15th the preparations will begin and as of now we speculate that he should be with us over here on the 17th of august 17th of august hindi mein bolo jaisa maine kaha ki vishv ये गर्व का पल तो है ही है भारत के लिए एक अद्भुत आनंद का पल कि भारत माँ का एक सुपुत्र आज कामयाब